right, in this episode we're going to work on the back bumper and the side skirt. Uh, sorry about my voice, I'm just a little bit sick right now, but I still wanted to get the part out. Uh, so what we're first going to do is we're going to select from the rear bumper uh, body panel part. Uh, we're going to select these uh, vertices on the side and then drag them over um, and extrude them down. It will also remove the shrink wrap, uh, but leave this in the file. Uh, and then we're just going to line it up with the blueprint on the side to create that um, uh, like the curve going up and then we bring it to the middle and then add a few more edge loops uh, just to complete the curve at the back uh, and just look at it from every single view and reference the uh, um, the reference image just to make sure we're doing everything right I also made sure to put them in a separate collection uh, now we're going to do the part uh, with the little lip that comes in a bit. So uh, what I did was I used extruding by active element to just extrude it um, to the vertice closest to the wheel well. And then I uh, tightened up the um, the uh, edge to match the reference. And then if you look at the reference, you can see that uh, near the uh, end where it starts curving, uh, it actually veers away from the body panel to create a little bit of a lip. So I made sure to uh, bring that out and also uh, give a little bit of room between the uh, panel and the bodywork. So there's a gap there. <coughs> and then uh, extruding everything up to create the part for the exhaust and then tightening everything. Um, and then just making sure that uh, nothing looks out of place and it matches up. Uh, as well as that, bringing it back for the final uh, lip section, once again extruding on the active element, and then adding a few more uh, holding loops just to keep everything tight. And then it was out of line, it was in line with the blueprints, but out of line with the actual bodywork. So I said, like, okay, let's just uh, match it with the bodywork. So I bring it down in uh, just a uh, regular view. Then I want to close off the back. So I extruded the vert vertice, the vertex back, and then I matched the amount of uh, edge loops on the back just so that the uh, face up would be clean. and then put a uh, holding loop just to make that edge tight. And then I tried to scale it along the uh, uh, y-axis so it was straight and uh, in line with the uh, wheel well. And then that's the back section done, so we move on to the side skirt. Uh, as you can see, the side skirt basically, uh, it goes down, but in the middle of it, it has a section that's straight across, um, and then everything else connects, uh, like into that part that goes straight across. So what I did was I extruded down, I deleted the middle faces, um, and then I added two edge loops on each side, and then faced it up. And then I uh, added edge loops to match the amount that's on the original part. And then I just faced everything up easily, which uh, gave the effect that the middle part was uh, ca came out. And then I added the holding loops, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the sky it's pretty simple. Uh, I scaled it down to match the reference a bit better, and then a solidify modifier uh, to give it thickness. Yeah, that's this part. Thanks. Uh, we'll move on to the next one soon.